I'm here today to talk about what we're doing in, to invest in America, invest in Pennsylvania, invest in our clean energy future. Now, talk about the progress we made building an economy from the middle out and the bottom up. You know, I came to office determined to strengthen the middle class. I often say, and I mean it sincerely, you know, Wall Street, good folks down there, but they didn't build the middle class. They didn't build America. The middle class was built by the middle class, and the unions built the middle class. And it changed the economic direction of this country. Because we, I got tired of trickle-down economics. I've never been a big fan. If the wealthy do very well, I'm a capitalist. I like the wealthy to be able to let people be wealthy. But if the mere fact they do well doesn't mean everybody else does well. I watched my dad growing up. There's not a whole lot of benefit trickle down on his kitchen table as a consequence of trickle down economics to what everyone from the Financial Times and the Wall Street Journal has become my change, my different philosophy. They, I, don't, I don't think they started off trying to be complimentary, but they started calling them Bidenomics. And our plans work in Bidenomics. We're here. Here's what it looks like. We're 13 million new jobs built across the country, nearly half a million of them here in Pennsylvania just in the last two and a half years. 800,000 manufacturing jobs, 28,000 here in Pennsylvania alone in the last two and a half years. That's more jobs in two years than any president has created in a four-year term. Unemployment is below 4 percent, the longest stretch of unemployment below 4 percent in the last 50 years. We're beginning to come back, folks, we can because we're giving workers a chance. Unemployment's down, but to the surprise of a lot of economists, so is inflation. Remember the story? In order for inflation to come down, you got to cut wages for hard-working folks. you got to have unemployment up in order for inflation to come down. Well, guess what? I never bought that. I don't think the problem in America is too many people are working or the people are making too much money. Instead, we focused on getting Americans into the workforce by fixing a broken supply chain, lowering the cost of product from everything from health care to the products we purchase. Fact is, companies made record high profits during the pandemic. And by the way, I'm not opposed to the companies. I come from the corporate capital world. More, more corporations incorporated in Delaware than every other state in the union. Greetings, friends. Did you know that the Biden administration is working on passing new housing relief for millions of Americans. Under this new plan, many Americans will qualify for as much as $25,000 that could be put towards a home purchase. President Biden is also taking on junk fees and rising food prices. My dearest friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to learn more about this. Also, in two days, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you watch and then comment on friends, the greater your chances of winning these weekly giveaways. Although more Americans own homes than rent, Experts say that the number gap between the two categories is shrinking. This is because housing costs continue to climb, pricing out prospective homeowners, more economically disadvantaged renters, may get the chance to own a home in the future. If a down payment assistance bill developed during Biden's campaign for president passes into law, the Down Payment Towards Equity Act, or First Time Buyer Home Grant, promises to administer $100 billion in direct assistance to first-time, first-generation home buyers when purchasing their home. The Down Payment Toward Equity Act aims to establish a grant program through the Department of Housing and Urban Development. It is for states to provide qualifying assistance to certain first-time, first-generation home buyers in purchasing their first homes. Up to $25,000 in funding will be provided at closing, rather than offered as a tax credit relief, and can be used to assist eligible homeowners with mortgage down payments, mortgage closing costs, and reducing mortgage interest rates. 
A first-time home buyer is defined as someone who has not owned a home in the prior three years, while a first-generation buyer is eligible for this grant program if their parents or guardians have never purchased a home in the United States. So, under this plan, in order to qualify for the twenty-five thousand dollar grant, the home buyer has to have a household income of less than one hundred and twenty percent. Of the area median income. In the case of a home buyer acquiring an eligible home that is in a high cost area, buyers can qualify if they earn up to one hundred and eighty percent of the median income in that area. To remain qualified for the assistance program, the home buyer has to live in the house purchased for five years, or risk paying back a portion of the grant. Home buyers have to complete a government-approved home ownership education course, and grant money cannot be used for a second home or a rental property. Originally introduced in Congress in July 2021 by Democratic Representative Maxine Waters, and currently co-sponsored by 65 Democratic representatives, the bill has been affirmed by President Biden's 2024 budget proposal. It was also reintroduced in the House of Representatives on June twenty first, twenty twenty three. The twenty twenty three iteration of the bill still needs to be debated and voted on in the House, then delivered to the Senate for processing. Industry experts foresee the legislation to be approved in some capacity this year. So, dear friends, what are your thoughts about the down payment towards Equity Act? Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. The Biden administration has also proposed new guidelines for corporate mergers, took steps to disclose the junk fees charged by landlords, and launched a crackdown on price gouging in the food industry. The announcements were discussed as part of President Biden's meeting with the White House Competition Council. It is a group of officials established under a 2021 executive order. The council has focused on creating more transparency for consumers, and finding approaches to limit the concentration of industries, in ways that the Biden administration says leads to higher prices. Republican lawmakers and some business group critics counter that the Democratic president's effort will lead to greater regulatory costs that leave the economy worse off. Republican lawmakers and some business group critics. Counter that the Democratic president's effort will lead to greater regulatory costs that will leave the economy worse off. The Department of Justice and the Federal Trade Commission are proposing revised guidelines for how they evaluate mergers. Their goal is to provide more clarity on the impact mergers can have on workers, and to update the guidance for a digital economy that is shaped by companies such as Apple, Meta, and Amazon. The government first issued its guidance on mergers in 1968. Officials stress that the new guidance conforms to the laws set by Congress and the precedents of court rulings. Another one of the administration's goal is for renters to know how much they're being charged, so that they can make better choices. The government is also working with companies like Zillow, Apartments.com, and AffordableHousing.com. To create a new website that reveals to renters all of the fees that they could be charged when signing a lease. Well, my beautiful and awesome friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so much for being part of this community and for joining me here daily. To say thank you, I will be announcing several winners this coming Friday for the Walmart gift card giveaway. My friends, if you'd like to enter these weekly giveaways, simply click and like several of my videos, and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, dear friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways.